And good afternoon, everyone. Owen Azuris here. We are playing some ADOM midweek in mid-August. Uh, I thought I'd actually kind of use this time while we're playing to kind of update on my channel. I'm going to have more stuff on the channel coming up. Uh, I had posted a little update in the text portion of it that, you know, in August and January in the past, I had put that while well, I'm doing this channel, I would kind of take those two months off. And I thought I had updated it, but I guess it didn't hit save because it wasn't posting. So, yeah, the channel's not going anywhere. I'm still going to be playing some stuff. I might add a couple more things in August and September start back up. Looking right now, still Wednesdays and Saturdays to have stuff on roguelike games. Uh, I have the Dungeon Keeper, that Dark Lord game. I did a Dine and Roguelikes episode. A nice person actually sent me a code to unlock all the characters in the game. So I'm going to take a look at each of them. Might do my Wednesday thing like that or start something on Thursday where I'm just going through each character, kind of looking at them. Because after playing a little more, I found that game has a lot more strategy and depth than I realized. I gave it a, you know, I said it had some strategy and depth when I played it on my Dine and Roguelikes, but then I'm also finding out it's having a lot even past what I saw. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start. And I'll continue talking while I'm doing that. So we want to do a weekly challenge. Haven't done one of these in a while. Looks like right off the back bat, we get to pick our gender. We'll go male. And we are a male gray elf duelist. I get to put in my name here. So hopefully you've been doing well. A couple of people did write to me and ask about the channel. That's kind of how I noticed the update wasn't there, stating that, you know, November, or not November, in August, take the month off, have a lot going on. January, take the month off, just beginning of the year. Stuff's always happening at work then. But as for this character, we're a duelist. We're going to grow hungry very slowly. Many traps, few vaults, talents are predetermined, gender, as you saw, can be freely chosen. I'm an atheist, so no prayers this time. I won't even try it. Well, I mean, we could try it first thing. Yep, you don't believe in God. We start off with a rapier. Fencing gloves, makes sense since I'm a duelist. Got some bread, gold pieces. And aside from the normal stuff I've been playing, I've been playing a lot of Guild Wars 2 recently. Been having a lot of fun with that. Got hit by a stone right there, because that's what happens here. This might be a short video, because there are a lot of traps. So I can surge, but I'm not going to hit here. See, gush, gush of water hit me. I was, well, I was here, so I didn't quite trigger that when I searched. But that's one of my biggest issues with just random tile traps in roguelike games is you literally take two steps and have to hit search. Actually, you take one step and hit search. And that's just not a fun mechanic, so I typically avoid doing that. And then I will usually pay for it later on. And other stuff I'll probably be doing an update on yeah, I... Oh, I'm down to one hit point. I'm confused and stunned. Luckily, I can think clearly again. I downloaded the new Madden update on the iPhone, because I don't really play football games, but it's free. Yeah, I did a video on it last time and got a lot of hits, and um, I'll probably be releasing a video in a couple of days of my opinion on it, but I don't know about it. If you like... If you like games with lots of various virtual currencies and lots of free-to-play mechanics, I mean, it's going to be right up your alley, but I don't know about anyone else. Okay, luckily that was not trapped. So I'm up to two hit points. I haven't encountered a single monster yet. I'm going to regenerate some health here. Oh, there's a monster. Luckily I'm a duelist, so I can make quick work of him. And as always, if you have any ideas, any roguelikes you want to see me play, I've already filmed a couple of episodes for a next, starting in September. Okay, and I have to go towards the stairs. But I am always open to some suggestions. I hit some acid there. All right, open the door. Room smells of herbs and antiseptics. Okay, there's a potion. 
And I am really hoping this potion is some sort of healing potion, because I need it right now. Very self-confident. Okay, that's good. Always good to be self-confident. I mean, not if it means I'm going to walk into a trap. Oh, shoot. So I have one hit point, and I hit a monster dungeon. And I'm nowhere close to gaining enough experience to... level up. I was hoping maybe if I could level up that you could go and gain a little hit points when you level up. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty much dead. Unless I get real lucky and can find some stairs or just take these guys out and let them all come to me. Okay, made it level two. Good. Yeah, let's do some... Oh. I meant to hit first aid and dodge. I need just stuff to make, really, so I can just last these next few minutes. Oh, shoot, they got melee attack. Or, uh, sorry, I have melee attacks. They have ranged attacks. Okay, this is not going to go well. Is a chieftain up there? Yeah. I made it level three really want my dodge, find weakness, first aid. And... More easily disarm and dodge, just in case I stay alive somehow. Okay, I'm up to nine hit points. Wow, I like how they all come, kind of converge on me at once there. So I'm stunned. I'm getting a little slow down here. Well, and I'm also at negative 10 hit points now. Which will be game for me. A large orc hit one of my vital spots. Don't even want to know what that is, but it was enough to take me out. It's only scored 830 points. Made to level 3. Killed by a large orc. And really just a run of bad luck. A lot of traps in this cave, so that didn't work out in my favor. And then, in addition to that, I hit that monster zoo. Really nothing else you could do. So as I said, just to recap, uh, periodic postings every now and then for the month of August, and then we'll start back full swing in September. If you have anything you want to see in particular on the channel, I mean, I'm still going to do roguelikes primarily. I have a couple ideas for some other stuff. Might start streaming some stuff on Twitch and then posting the broadcast here. I was thinking of playing some old MMORPG. I've never played EverQuest. I was kind of... CS still around. Kind of curious checking that out. I saw Minions of Murph shut down, or at least the online component. And they kind of got me wondering, you know, want to play a RPG possibly before they go away, and you could never experience with, with a group of people again. Anyways, just some random thoughts. Um, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. We've been getting a lot of subscribers recently, so that's kind of cool. Always nice to have new subscribers and get to talk to people and really from around the world. That's one of the cool things about having this channel is, you know, people send me messages, ask me things about games, ask me advice, things I've seen, send me tips for games, tell me things I'm doing wrong, tell me things I'm doing right. So it's cool to be able to communicate and interact with people really from around the world. So I always enjoy that. So if you want to join that group, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time with more frequent videos and more scheduled and... What's the word I'm trying to look for? More regular updates at set times and intervals coming in September. Until then, have a great day. Goodbye.